Wherefore come out from among them and be ye separate, saith the Lord. And touch not the unclean thing. God say, don't touch the unclean thing. Now give me Sirach, chapter 37 and verse 12. This is who you got to separate from. What Bible was this? It's the King James Version, 1611. Oh, that's right. Original. That's what it is. With the Apocrypha, all 80 books. All right, read what you got. Sirach, chapter 37, verse 12. This is who the Bible say be around. Come on. But be continually with a godly man. So God say you got to be continually with who? Read it again from the top. But be continually with a godly man. With what? A godly man. With who? A godly man. Come on. Whom thou knowest. You know who you think. Who thou knowest. You know the one that says. Whom thou knowest. So you would have had to prove them to know that they did what? Come on. To keep the commandments of the Lord. To do what? To keep the commandments of the Lord. So you, you need to be around a godly man whom you know to do what? To keep the commandments of the Lord. Is that who you hanging around? Are you hanging around godly men whom you know to keep the commandments of God? No. So how, how do you think you're going to improve yourself? I, I don't, but I don't think nobody can keep 100 percent everything God tells you to do. You can keep God's commandments, bro. That's why you got to repent. Bro, you can keep God's commandments. You know what that's called? What you forgive for? What you for? What if your What if your lady said that to you? What you mean? What if your lady said that to you? What if she was like, you know, I don't think I can just follow everything you want me to do. Did, sometimes I got to, sometimes choice. I just got to give me some other ride. Uh, yeah, sometimes I, I just got to do it. You know, I can't, I can't just be with you all the time. Who can, who can listen to everything that you say? Who can do it? You understand? What if your lady said that to you? Which, you hold on, would she still be a lady? Hold on, hold on. Would she still be a lady? Hold on, would she still be a lady? She wouldn't. Right? So with that mindset, do you still think you're a child of God? <laughs> you. Look, With that mindset, do you still think you're a child of God? Honestly, man, I stop things. With, you have this standing. I do a lot of things, you know, that it's evil. I stop things, you know what I'm saying? I ain't just trying to... All right, that's good. That, that's you know what that's called? You know what I mean? I go, I go do you know this. what that's called? I go do this and be like, nah, I don't go kill him. You know what that's called? You know called? what I mean? At the same time. That's called bad, repentance. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's called... Right. Give me the sin less. Where's that at? I ain't... Yeah, give me that. I give me that one. don't do this to me. Man, Give me I that one. No, you good, bro. You know I got to ask you questions because I got to see. I got to gauge the minds of the people so I know where to meet you. You understand? I got to. So what you said, what I'm trying to show you is that doesn't make sense. All right? That doesn't make sense. To say I don't think everybody can keep all the laws, that's an excuse because you wouldn't accept that from your lady. But so I'm God saying, won't but, accept but, that from you. But ain't that why God sent this God. child down here? Because he knew nobody can do everything he wanted. Mm -mm. Right? God, I'm going to show you why God said this child. I'm going to read this first. I'm going to show you why God said this child. Read what you got. Sirach chapter 17, like, verse 25. <laughs> Return unto the Lord. Did you hear what the Bible just said? Read it again. Return unto the Lord. The Bible said return unto him. How do you return to the, to the Lord? This is how. Come on. And forsake thy sin. And do what? Forsake thy sin. That's how you turn to the Lord. You have to forsake your sins. Come on. Make thy prayer before his face. That means you got to come before the Lord and confess the things that you did wrong. That's what you have to do. Come on. And offend less. And then you have to commit those wrongs less than you did before. Oh, well, I'm and then I'm you got to commit those before. wrongs less than you did before. And you got to commit those wrongs less than you did before. And to the point where you're not even doing it no more. Right. You got to get to a point where you're not, you're not even committing adultery no more. That's right. You understand? You're not even lusting after women in your mind no more because you hate it. It's evil. See? You got to get to that point. That's called perfection. But that doesn't come from making excuses. That doesn't come from saying, uh, I don't think oh, everybody can keep all the law. That's an excuse. And that's going to keep you and your people in sin. That's what it's going to do. Now, why did Christ come? Titus chapter 2. I'm going to tell you why Christ came. Christ came so that you can repent. Christ came so that you can get your mind right. Christ came so that you don't get put to death for the evil that you commit today the first time that you do it. You understand? But the second time, the third time, the fourth time, the fifth time, the sixth time, Christ didn't come for that. Because a lot of niggas getting put to death for their evil even still today. That's right. That's happening right now. Sometimes the first time they committed evil, they get put to death. You understand that? Sometimes people drink. And, now, I'll give you a better example. Sometimes people have sex the first time in their life and got HIV. Did you know that? That's called judgment. Why didn't Christ come to save them from that? I thought Christ came to save them from that. Christ didn't come to save them from that. Christ came to teach them to not commit sin. Or maybe if you go or against or that, or, 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 if you go against that, maybe, maybe, if you go against that, that there will still be judgment. The time, so there will still be judgment. Say, I got some example. 
Say it again. This is why. This is why you can't do it. Maybe good. That was God reason to do that. You know well, what I mean? all right. Just to be. I just okay, told you, you why. Example. But and I don't want to debate right. with you. Right. I, I know you don't want to debate. I, I said, don't do this. I, just I understand. I understand. Me. But this is what I want to show you. This is what I want to show you. Because I just said what I said. You said what you said. But, but we want to listen to the Bible. So let's. How about we find out what the Bible says? Is that all right? I, I understand, bro. I, you want to hear what the Bible says? I ain't trying to get that deep. I understand. You know but we teach out of the Bible, I understand, right? Bro. You ask, well, why did Christ come? I'm gonna show you out of the Bible why Christ came. All right. Verse 11. Come on. Titus chapter 2, verse 11. For the grace of God that bringeth salvation hath appeared to all men. Who's the grace of God that have brought salvation to all the Israelites? Who did that? Jesus Christ. Yes. Come on. Teaching us that denying ungodliness. What did Jesus Christ teach us to do? To believe in his word through all. Read it again believe. from the top. Listen good. It's telling you what he told us to do. Come on. Teaching us that denying ungodliness. No, for the grace of God. Read it again from that verse. For the grace of God that bringeth salvation hath appeared to all men. Teaching us that denying ungodliness. What did Jesus Christ tell us we have to do? What did Jesus Christ tell us we have to deny? Read it again. <laughs> For the grace of God that, that bringeth salvation hath appeared to all men. That's Jesus Christ. Come on. Teaching us. What did Jesus teach us? That denying ungodliness. Jesus Christ told us to deny what? Ungodliness. ungodliness. That's right. We got to deny it. We have to deny it. That means we got to stop. Jesus said that. He didn't say, oh, I died. Now you good. He said, deny ungodliness. What else did he say? Come on. And worldly lust. I got to deny that too. Come on. We should live soberly. Live how? Soberly. Live how? Soberly. Do you smoke? Mm -hmm. You do drugs? Oh, I do everything. Right. So God said, we got to stop that. We got to sin less. Jesus. That's what God said. Jesus Christ said, we got to do that. We got to sin less. You understand? You can't continue. You can't continue to smoke, to get high, to sleep around. You you greater than that. God has called you to be better than that. You understand? You are holy people. But only if you keep God's holy laws. Right. That's the only way you become a holy people. All right? Uh, finish that out. We should live soberly, righteously, and godly in this present world. Looking for that blessed hope. <laughs> And that glorious appearing. So, so look, that's why Christ came. Christ came to do that. All right, officer host. This is what Christ said out of his own mouth, right? Give me Matthew chapter 5, last, last two verses. Matthew chapter 5, New Testament, last couple verses. All right? So my brother was bringing out that Christ came to teach us to deny ungodliness, right? And we understand that's a process, right? You don't just snap your finger and you're perfect. But you should be pursuing it, right? That's why I stop. Then I'll get questions and they'll be like, you know what? No, no, it's, it's, no, it's all good. It's all good. But every time it happened that way, you know what I mean? First you go to stop, then it's, what are you doing? You're doing it wrong. That ain't what you're doing. That made me like, man, you don't fucking shit. I stopped. I stopped. I was hearing some shit that I like, but then it got too personal. You know what I mean? You made it. No, but look, we, we got to get we gotta get personal. <laughs> I mean, I understand. You know why we got to get personal? Some, sometimes the approach be too direct when this motherfucker just want to. You know that's, what I mean? But look, that's how that's how men deal though. But you know That's how men deal. We deal direct. But you know right. people, people around here, you know what I mean? They too they don't wanna hear they from jail, everybody yelling at them, getting in them, they don't wanna hear nobody else doing it. Fast, gotcha. change their approach, you know what I mean? That makes like But look, I hear this is my dad, this is news cause that's what I hear this air well. You feel what I'm saying? Like nobody else gonna talk to me like that and I'm trying to pay attention. <laughs> you know what I mean? Tell me something. Change the approach a little bit, you know what I mean? That'd make somebody be more instead of just you wrong. Did you fast up today? Right. Yeah, that's fucked up. You know what I mean? Like, right, What's your name, I, bro? I tried it. I didn't catch your name when you came up. <laughs> My name Clay. Clay? All right, look. Yehoshua. Look, let me, let, me, let me show you Let me show you the, the, the spirit that we come in real quick. Give me uh, 2 John. 2 John, verse 6. I'm going to show you why we out here, why we do what we do. All right? I know you say you got a couple homies that but they, they, uh, they know they're Israel. They keep the laws. They put you on. They help you to know who you are. Your older cousins? Like that. Yeah, be on that. Okay, so they know that they're Israelites. Yeah, yeah, and they taught you that you're an Israelite. Yeah. Okay, all praise. <laughs> who, who they with? Who they study with? I don't know who they study with. Gotcha. I be out the street, you know what I mean? But what tribe you come from, bro? For me? Yeah. I don't know what. Levi? What? 
Where your your, uh, your father, your pops, where he from? From the islands, he from America, he from Haiti. America, so-called black man, right? That means you come from the tribe of Judah. Now let me show you why we come out here doing what we do. Read that. Second John verse six, uh -huh. and this is love. And this is love. We ain't never really know what love was. We thought love was just this emotion, this hug, this dap, you know what I mean? This, uh, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna match you on the weed, we gonna chill, I'm, I'm gonna pull up, we gonna pull up together. That's what we thought love was. We thought love was whatever our mothers taught us, right. whatever our fathers taught us, right. whatever our grandmothers taught us. Right. But the scripture's gonna tell us what real love is. Read that again. And this is love, uh -huh. that we walk after his commandments. You see that? The real love is when we walk after God's commandments. So when we see one of our brothers, one of our sisters, we see you walking, right? We see you walking physically. We're like, yo, look, there go one of my brothers right there. That might be one of the lost sheep that Christ came from. Christ might have came from one, this brother right here. If I really want to love that brother, if I'm going to show that brother love, I got to show him what? And this is love, uh -huh. that we walk after his commandments. So we come out here to examine our people and to guide our people. Hey, look, my, look, you might not have known it, bro, but you an Israelite. Right. You know that already, right? But the next brother don't. So yeah, so the, the people that set up over us to oppress us, what the correctional officer, the police officer, the, the, the white man on the job, you know what I mean? And them coming at you is different than how we coming at you. Because the white man don't love you. Right. That correctional officer don't love you. They only on your ass because they getting a paycheck to be on your ass. But what we getting paid with? Who money are we collecting? We don't want nobody money. We ain't got nobody money. We come out here because we love our people. Read on. This is the commandment that as you have heard from the beginning, you should walk in it. For many deceivers are entered into the world. Many deceivers have come into this world saying what? I'm Jesus Christ. Or come to church on Sunday. Celebrate these birthdays. Right? Even your beard. Get your beard cut down. Get the little chin strap. We've been deceived in all aspects of our lives. Read on. Who confess not that Jesus Christ is coming to flesh. They don't confess that Jesus Christ is coming to flesh. Because this is what Jesus Christ said when he came in the flesh. Matthew chapter 5, verse 48. Matthew chapter 5, verse 48. Uh -huh. Be ye therefore perfect. So when Christ came in the flesh, that's what he said. He said, be ye therefore perfect. But when you go to the Christian church, what do they tell you to do? They tell you to come as what? Come as you are, but Christ don't want you to come as you are. Right, right. However you show up is not how you're supposed to lead. You show up as a drug dealer, you're supposed to put the drugs down. You show up as a murderer, you're supposed to stop killing. You show up as a, a, as a thief, you're supposed to stop stealing. But what if you all that? Do we forgive you? <laughs> all manner of sin can be forgiven except for blasphemy and all the Holy Ghost. This is what Christ taught. Give me Matthew 4, 17. Flip over one chapter. What if you all of that? Yeah, if you all of that, you can still repent. Guess who was all of that? Paul was all of that. Right. Paul was a murderer. Yeah, Paul killed you know, many people. You know, that's why sometimes you feel like, yo, maybe God put me here to walk this walk so I can talk to certain people. Because, you know, everybody can't get in the mix with certain people. So you got to beat them sometimes just that's to a fact. get to them. That's you a fact. I mean? Some motherfuckers out here too far, they don't want to see you out the same. Right. But then you think, Say, me for instance. I uh -huh. can go back wherever well, I'm going there and be like, yo, man, and take this same conversation and talk to people that y'all probably can't talk to. But look, they man ain't on that. They on some other shit. That's you know a fact. Like, that's you know a mean? fact. But, but look, did that make you wrong? But that look, make them wrong? you but, know what I mean? But like, God, but, but look, I changed it abruptly. I changed it abruptly. Now was, fuck you, some music nigga, man. When I could slowly, now I said the approach is slowly different. You know what I mean? Like, shit, I might still gotta still do whatever I gotta do with y'all. You know what I mean? But slowly but surely, it's like. Damn, I see, I see, I see. Serious. Let me show you. Let me I show you what the scripture says. Cool nah, we, we got you. We got you. Because the apostle Paul said that he was all things to all men. So he was able to relate to people because of his different experiences in life. Check this out. Matthew chapter 4, verse 17. From that time, Jesus began to preach and to say, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. So this is what Christ said when he was in the flesh. Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Right now, give me Psalm 119, give me 59 and 60. Hey, brother, come on up to the front. Come on up to the front. Because you said that you want to do it slowly. But I got to show you what the scriptures say. Because you never know which day is your last day. My brother, you never know which day is your last day. Is that right? We just had a, we just had a young homie, 16-year-old, right? You about to slide? Right, let, me, 
Let me give you the last one. Let me give you the last one. This is what the Lord say about how fast or how slow you need to make this transition. 119. Yeah, 59. Psalms chapter 119, verse 59. Uh -huh. I thought on my way. This is what we want our brothers to do. Think on your ways. Think about the lifestyle that you live in. Think about the condition of our community. Think about the condition of our people here in America, even right here in VA, in Newport News. And turn my feet unto thy testimony. What we need you brothers to do is to turn your feet to the testimonies of God. You got to return back to God as an Israelite. You got to keep God's laws, statutes, and commandments. Read on. I made haste. But you can't take your time with it, Clay. You can't take your time with it. You got to do what? I made haste. We got to make haste. We never know when your time is up. Your last night might be tonight. Your last night might be tomorrow. It's many times we come out here bringing this word out. And no sooner than we leave, a week later, two weeks later, the same place that we was teaching, somebody get put to death. Right. That somebody could be you at any given point in time. So the scriptures say you got to do what? I made haste. You must make haste. And delay not to keep that commandment. You must delay not to keep God's commandments. That's the message, Clay. You know who you are. You know you're a child of God. You know you're an Israelite. You know you're from the tribe of Judah. But you got to make haste and turn yourself to keep God's commandments. That's what the message is. That's what the message is, my brother. What is the nation? Nation is men leading by example. 